Okay, this is the Sony KV36HS510 with the DA4 chassis take one. This TV has provided us a, a lot of use here in the uh, man cave or what you want to call it. It's since been replaced with a uh, an Emerson flat panel that also had a, a shorted diode in it, so pick that up for next to nothing. But the real concern here is this poor CRT Sony end of the era of the CRT's uh, flat screens. Uh, it was a one owner set. People paid a lot of money for it. You can get them basically most of these for free now on Craigslist because people are just dumping them like crazy. But it's always bothered me what is the problem with this television. It, uh, the previous owner paid $300 to have it fixed by a TV shop and it lasted a little while. And what it does is when the ambient temperature falls below a certain degree, say 70, it will not turn on does the dreaded six blinks. It's pretty warm in here right now as we have the wood stove going and whatnot. So it's, it's ambient about 80 degrees in here. So my guess is this is going to turn on. Now, I haven't turned this on in probably six months. And as the light blinks when it comes on, their circuit kind of monitors the CRT and blanks it out until it's ready. And there you have the set is on. And this set has very good color. It's warming up. Like I said, it hasn't been on in a, in a in quite some time. Uh, I'd like to put the back on one of these days. The problem exists in this D board section here next to the flyback. There's a couple of chips in there which the forums say, oh, you need to change and that'll cure the problem. But this has an issue with I'll describe the circuit over here. And I even got a second chassis. This is the second chassis in this. And it's doing the same thing. The problem on the schematic here is with these two, two chips. One controls the vertical, one controls, I think, the horizontal. It's outlined in the manual. And there's your flyback, I believe. Or no, this is the switching section. There's two. I've done poster sized diagrams of this thing to try and figure out just what is going on with this thing. Like I say, we use it the way it is. However, it would be nice to get it to turn on ice cold. If it doesn't turn on, start of the day, you just heat with the heat gun just right there a little bit. So there's some circuit problem that. Uh, taking nothing short of a miracle to try and figure out. And that will do it for this portion of the Sony DA4 chassis issue. Alright, I found a uh, leftover HD converter box over there, so I've programmed it to scan some channels so I can show you the Sony. It's still on and it will stay on as long as it turns on initially. No other problems after that. I believe I have the yoke from the 32 inch on here as I have a little spot of green in the bottom right but uh, I'm not worried about the purity issue right now. I just want to find out what the crap is going on here with this. Okay while I was out shoveling earlier I greeted the mailman and he has my package which I assume is the B&K CRT tester some computer memory and uh, the cable company with their disguising mail trying to get me to sign up for cable which is never going to happen. So we took some of this fresh snow and we just cleaned off the screen here a little with it and we'll uh, get rid of that. And now even though it's been hit with snow, this TV is still warm from earlier. So my guess is it's going to turn on. It's only after it sits for maybe a day and it's cold that it won't power up. And the feature I want to show, the important feature, is when you turn this on, these Sonys, I've had a number of them, do this flashing 
seek out stray crumbs with laser-like precision and gobble While the CRT is warming up, it blanks out the signal. And if all is good, it comes on. The TV has wonderful color, and it's been a good performer. I hate to get rid of it, but also I can't keep it in the condition it's in, as and no one will take it, having to use a heat gun to start it up intermittently. So that's where we lie with the Sony. That was just an update, and we'll get back to it in a little while. Again. We'll investigate the circuit maybe one more time to see what would cause the same thing in two different chassis. I'm almost thinking it's the age of the CRT. The CRT aging perhaps is not working well with that high voltage protection circuit. There's something that nobody seems to know about.